Good afternoon. Welcome to Los Camines in Granada. Granada, Barca. It's the end of the season. Oh, what a lovely day it is. Andalusia, one of the most beautiful parts of Spain. Surely worth a visit. There's uh, Bartomeu alongside Mr. Peña, the president, or Pina, rather, the president of Granada, who... Uh, He's on his way out. Well, that's what the rumours are. Apparently, it's another club that may be on sale. Anyway, let's get into the game. Barcelona attacking the goal to our right. Granada attacking the goal to our left. Both teams, I'm glad to say, wearing their standard colours. Barcelona in the red and blue stripes. As I say, attacking from left to right. Granada in red and white going the other way. Of course, it's Barcelona with the initial possession. Gerard Piquet on the ball now. A few whistles as the local fans obviously trying to put off the team that, if they win today, win the league title. And of course, even if they lose, if Madrid don't lose, win their game, well, they still win the title. So there'll be a lot of ears pinned to the transistor radios wondering what is happening in the other stadium. Ria Thor, of course, is where the other game's going on. We'll let you know if there's any score there. Ria Thor, where Deportivo take on Real Madrid. There's the first free kick of the game for a challenge on Rakitic. Just inside the Barcelona half, just a minute gone then in Granada. The scoreline, Granada nil, Barcelona nil. There's a good atmosphere. Of course, Granada could have been facing this game in much different circumstances if they hadn't come back against Las Palmas and saved their status, first division status last week. They're not actually playing for anything but pride and, uh, well, you know, uh, the rumours go in the newspapers. Maybe there's a few suitcases knocking about. Um, yes, but at the moment it's Barcelona then in possession. Let's get into this game. Busquets now on the ball, just halfway inside the Granada half. Back to Maturano alongside Impique. The ball goes left to Andres Habifi Diniesta. He switches play to Rakitic. Still in the middle of the field. Granada with the front man El Arabi putting a little bit of pressure on, but they're sitting very deep, just on the edge of their area there. There's a long ball over. It goes out for a goal kick. And a first touch of the game for the goalkeeper, Fernandez. Jose Manuel Gonzalez, the manager of Granada in his second spell with this club and he'll feel that his job has been done. Granada, of course, all about keeping their first division status. Barcelona looking for yet another league title. Granada then with a, an initial possession here. Just... Some 30 metres out, the whistle goes. Hernández, Hernández awarding them a free kick as Peñaranda is brought down. Dani Alves doing the bringing down. So this could be an early opportunity for Granada. I imagine they'll float a ball into the area, bring the centre-halves up and see what they can get from this. Free kick about to be taken by one of the ex Barca B boys, Rochina, on the ball. Then there's a line of players just outside the Barcelona penalty area. Rochina then left foot swings it in to the hands of Ter Stegen. Bravo, of course, still out injured. As Barcelona bring the ball down the middle. Switch now to Neymar on the left-hand side. Just jigs past one man, advancing on the edge of the penalty area. Goes down, brought down off the ball. A little bit of rolling about both by Neymar and the man who brought him down. Oh, and you can see now we're just getting a look at the replay there, Ruben Perez has caught Neymar on the back of the ankle if you like, not a nice challenge but Neymar already up on his feet and now back down, Ruben Perez has also stayed down it's strange how he seems to have come out worse from uh, the challenge 
We're just getting a look at it again. Oh, this very much contact there and Ruben Perez. Not sure how he came off the worst because he's really gone in very heavy indeed on Neymar. So, five minutes gone, Granada nil, Barca nil, no goal opportunity so far. The most noteworthy incident, this poor challenge by Perez on Neymar. No score line either, or no score yet from Riafol. Free kick then, the two stars over the ball, Perez off the pitch, Granada down to ten. It's Neymar and Leo Messi over the ball, just some five metres outside the penalty area. To the left as we look at goal. Maybe the Neymar will swing this one in. Up steps Messi, swings it in to the edge of the six. It's out for a corner. First corner of the game and it's in favour of the Red and Blues of Barcelona. And PK having a word with Costa now. Costa has a um, rather silly gesture there by Costa. He's touched, I can't say he's done any more than touch PK in the face, I'm quite happy to say PK has not gone down or anything but he is holding his face and now the two of them are hugging Teletubby style and it's all sorted out but uh, the conversation continuing what Barcelona certainly don't want is this game to turn into too much of a, a physical battle Barcelona will be anxious to get the first goal. Corner by Rakitic, swung in, hegged it on and off the line! Well, an early opportunity for Barcelona. Some of the players felt the ball might have gone over the line and then they're confident that he patted it away. But it was another well-worked corner. Maturana with the flick on Piquet with the head and it was on the line and that image will be relived many a time if uh, results don't go the way Barcelona want or expect and they are the favourites of course it's all in their hands they need to win Fernandez then clears the ball up into the Barcelona half it's flicked away he'll go out for a throw in in favour of the Andalusians as I've said just at the start of the game currently owned by the Pozzo family of Italy who I'm just looking at that now I think it's on the line but <laughs> uh, ooh, <laughs> you mean uh, maybe they should have like they have in the Premier League where you have the Hawkeye technology and they know if the ball's going over the line that one was close I can tell you folks it's PK himself on the ball again he's bringing it forward Gerard PK getting more whistles than most because of uh, comments over the last year or so as Rakitic loses the ball, applause for Granada, but they've really yet to establish any uh, meaningful possession Cristiano Ronaldo has just scored in Deportivo nil, Madrid won at this moment in time Real Madrid are top of the league, emotion guaranteed this afternoon then folks, as uh, Fernandez has gone down as he cleared the ball, the goalie just bumped into by Suarez, Suarez couldn't stop himself, pushed him over. We're getting a chance to see. Go back to this corner. It's remarkable how the Rakitic corners have uh, worked for Barcelona this season. And more or less, they go along the same lines. It's a short ball to the near post. Maturana with a flick on. This time, Piquet um, meeting it. And uh, it's, it's been a successful strategy for Barcelona this season. The corners from Rakitic. So, free kick taken by Fernandez. Pings it up towards the Barcelona area. Just a little bit of head tennis and Dani Alves clears the ball into the middle of the field. Messi dispossessed unfairly so, says the referee. Ducouré committing the free kick. The ball will have to come back. And uh, free kick taken some 10 metres further upfield, but uh, not to any dramatic effect. Iniesta moves the ball out to the left-hand side. Neymar makes the run, Jordi Alba instead to Iniesta who finds Gerard Piquet. Piquet's ball is a poor one, cut out and now Granada on the break. Now Eli Arabi, oh, he's 
off the shot. He was being closed down. You never want to be in a sandwich between PK and Maturano. And uh, El Arabi just tried to chip Ter Stegen. It was never going to happen. The ball at the other end of the field now. Neymar inside the penalty area. Drops it back for Messi. Messi on the edge of the D. Shoots it over the crossbar. Pushed over the crossbar by Fernandez. It'll be a second corner for Barcelona. Ten minutes into the game. Barcelona dominating, as you would imagine. So, corner for Barcelona as we get to look at the previous one. Just looking at the uh, little incident. Corner taken, swung in towards the penalty spot, headed away. He'll be picked up by Dani Alves. Alves will play it back in, overhits the ball, and Fernandez prevents it going out from the goal kick. The orange shirted keeper on the ball now for Granada. Imagine it'll be a long ball from Andres Fernandez. Indeed, it is straight down the middle. PK meets it, heads it away, finds Iniesta. Iniesta, Alba, Alba pushes it up towards the halfway line. Neymar now hugging the touchline. Is he going to take on Lopez? Plays it back instead to Andres Iniesta. Iniesta's return ball, no flag. Neymar just outside the six, plays it into the area. It's cleared by the Granada back four. Throw in on this near side to be taken by Rakitic. The ball now in midfield with Macherano. Macherano. Jordi Alba finds Neymar. Everybody crowding into the Granada half as Iniesta looks for the return ball to Jordi Alba. Iniesta will play another one in and this time into the hands of Fernandez. Well, Fernandez has easily been the most busy player on the field so far. This long ball forward goes straight out for a throw in in favour of Barca. PK returning the ball to his keeper. So Maturano bringing the ball forward now for FCB. Busquets to PK. PK outside him is Dani Alves. Messi now. Messi, lovely ball in towards Neymar. Neymar! Just lining up the shot. It'll be another corner. The ball just nicked off the Brazilian's toes as he was about to put it in the back of the net. A wonderful ball through from Leo Messi. He won't get a much better assist than that. Messi involved in 17 of the 21 goals Barcelona have scored in their last four games. 21 for none against. It's a corner. Now Rakitic will take again. No, leaves it for Messi. Messi to Piquet's header is in the end safely gathered by Andres Fernandez. It's another well-worked corner. Very clear that the pair of them knew exactly what the plan was. There's another long ball forward, ball forward there from Granada. Goes straight to a red and blue shirt. Granada give the ball away again, halfway inside their own half. Jordi Alba plays it in to the hands of Fernandez. But it really is a game where only one team are attacking. Almost like a training game so far. But certainly there's a high intensity about Barcelona's play. They are playing with precision and speed. And when they do that, not many are going to stop them. Very little has been seen yet of the front three of Granada. Maturano plays it outside to Neymar. In the up, back to Gerard Piquet, halfway inside the Granada half. Now it's with Messi. Messi feints, passes one. Looks for the 1-2 on the edge of the area with Suarez. 
gets it. Messi still on the ball. Little back heel. In the Esther will shoot. And in the end, not an effort that's going to trouble Fernandez, Andres Fernandez. At the bottom of the table, of course, Levante already down, and it'll be any two from Sporting Getafe and Rayo Vallecano. Almost a shame, really, if uh, Rayo were to go down, or Sporting, of course, who have the Rayo Vallecano of the north, Rayo being the Betis of Madrid. You know what I mean. Back to the action. It's Andres Fernandez's ball. They'll be pumped up field. Won by Dani Alves. Dani Alves looks up, plays the ball into the centre. Suarez, little turn from Suarez. He's got three players to beat, can't do so. And then wins the free kick. No, he doesn't. He claimed one, it wasn't given. And now it's with El Arabi, who's brought down by Macherano. It'll be a free kick in favour of Granada. That ball will have to go back a good 10 metres away. Would have thought Busquets not happy with the award of the free kick. Alejandro Jose Hernandez Hernandez, one of the more, most respected referees, I would say, in Spanish football, as El Arabi may have slipped there. Busquets also went in heavy. One of the challenges was a free kick, free kick wasted, and the ball will be kept in by the corner flag and played inside to PK, just on the penalty spot. PK moving forward. Still Gerard Piquet, hence the whistles, alongside him, Macherano. He plays it forward to Neymar, Neymar. Back inside to Gerard Piquet, everybody except Ter Stegen in the Granada half. The ball forward to Messi, Messi returns it to Piquet, Piquet to Ter Stegen, who's halfway up the Barcelona half. Macherano with a long ball, and it runs through to Andres Fernandez. Good atmosphere in Granada, they're celebrating. Real Madrid also playing a team that have guaranteed themselves first division football, Deportivo. As Granada once again robbed of the ball in midfield. They get it back. And is when they do get the ball they don't really seem to have an outlet anywhere where they can play the ball but they're doing so now down the right hand flank so it's a first decent ball down the right is played into the area Macherano comes over to clear for a throw in it'll be a throw in in line with the penalty spot for the red and whites as we look back at the challenge on Suarez it was a heavy one there was also I think a hint of a handball by Babin I can see why Suarez would have been upset. So this, you would imagine, will be a long throw. They've rarely got the ball into the area. Lombard's ball flicked on. The header away by PK. There's a shot of... Well, I, you could call it a shot, I suppose. Ducouré was looking to bang that one into the net. Instead, it went mm, closer to the corner flag than it did the goal. It'll be a goal kick. Already taken, given to Gerard Piquet. Piquet has Macherano alongside him. Macherano. Forward to Andres Siniesta. Outside to Jordi Alba. Alba loses the ball to Lopez. And Granada unable to maintain possession. Neymar has it now. He's advancing on the area. Plays inside to Iniesta. Iniesta was looking for the return ball. Neymar, I don't think, anticipated the back heel. The ball ran through to Andres Fernandez. And that's probably the name you've heard most in the opening moments. Um, Mateo is warming up. I'm just wondering if somebody's coming or not there. And it would be obviously somebody in that back four as there's a slide in challenge by Busquets. Busquets not happy with the free kick, speaking to the referee and. He is telling El Arabi to get up. That's Busquets, not the referee, of course. The referee, meanwhile, is given the first yellow card of the afternoon. That yellow card going to Busquets, I suspect more for what he was saying rather than what he did. It'll be a free kick once again to be swung into the area. Similar position to the last one, a little bit further out. And the last one went straight into the hands of Ter Stegen. So Barcelona with Busquets picking up the first yellow card of the afternoon and now Rochina 
As I said, ex Barca B boy. Lomban, the left back, also an ex Barca B boy. As it swung in towards Testag and he punches it clear. Ducure will play it back into the box, but it runs through safely enough back to the German keeper. Handball is the claim against Danny Alves. He brought it down fairly, plays it forward, looking for Suarez. Great ball to Suarez on the edge of the area. Messi making the run, the ball comes off Babin, and now Lomban will pump the ball down the left hand side. Over hits it, though, and it runs straight through to Ter Stegen. 20 minutes gone. Granada nil, Barcelona nil, Deport nil, Real Madrid one in the north of Spain. Neymar is inside the area now with the ball. He's got two players in front of him. Drills it to the penalty spot. Ducure is there though. And he'll play it down the left-hand side. That's one to chase. And um, fans are a little bit upset with Peña Randa. I think he gave up the chase. And the ball reached PK. Indies on the ball now. Outside Jordi Alba. Alba high up the field for most of the game. Iniesta on the ball, inside to Gerard Piquet. Messi, Messi rides the challenge, plays it forward to the edge of the area. Rakitic, Rakitic's ball is headed away by Babin, but it'll be picked up by Busquets. Maturano finds Iniesta, space on the left-hand side for Jordi Alba. Alba to Neymar, Neymar, return ball to Alba. Alba plays into the box, Suarez, Suarez, Suarez! 1-0 to Barcelona, and it's Luis Suarez again. The Pichichi, the golden boot, the top scorer, not only in Spain, but in Europe. Suarez hits again. Barcelona 1-0 up. The league title is theirs at the moment. Suarez has been unstoppable. That is goal number 38 of the season in the league. And the trident strikes. It was a beautiful ball through to Neymar. So Jordi Alba starting the move to Neymar. Alba carries on the run. He's not offside. Through ball from Neymar. And then Luis Suarez with the easiest of tap-ins. Taps it in indeed to an empty net. And Barcelona a lead in 1-0. Barcelona on their way, let's say, to being league champions. Bartomeu, a little smile there, and now resumes the more sober-looking expression, as you are meant to do, of course, being the president in the presidential box. Back to the action, Granada then, have the ball, play it in, Pique heads it away, is picked up by the Red and Whites, given away almost in midfield. Now Granada moving forward with... China losing out and now Iniesta will play it up towards the halfway line as long as it's 1-0 Granada will feel they have a chance but the ball played forward now to Neymar Suarez making the run the ball doesn't reach Suarez comes back to Neymar and Messi and Neymar look to trick their way in but the ball is out for a throw in halfway inside the Granada half on the left hand side as we look at goal 38 goals then for the Uruguayan in the league and yes, you've worked it out. How many 38 games in the league? 38 goals. That's a goal a game. My maths teacher will be proud of me. Back to the action. Barcelona then have the ball with Gerard Piquet. Piquet. Back to Maturano. Two centre halves have been very relaxed this afternoon. Very little work for them to do as they join the attack. The ball played forward by Piquet. And ball. And ball on the edge of the area well Suarez felt it was inside the area and a uh, very interesting gesture there from Suarez to the linesman well the arm is out it's very much out by Lopez and I'd have to say you're looking at at least a yellow card I would have thought it's not in the area Suarez was hoping it was but I think the linesman spot on there. Um, free kick to Barcelona on the edge of the penalty area, right hand side as we look. Possibly should have been a yellow card for Lopez because I think the handball was very much intentional. 
So Neymar and Messi. Now this is the you've got to look at the goal as I'm looking at it. Right hand side, almost on the edge of the penalty area. Leo Messi looks at the goal. He's probably going to say top right. And this is the problem, isn't it? Andres Fernandez knows that. Will he be able to stop it, though? This is the problem. Neymar, Messi over the free kick. Messi or Neymar? Messi steps up. Messi is not the most effective free kick straight into the hands of Andres Fernandez. It wasn't really tested by that as much as I anticipated. The ball in midfield given away by Granada once again I have to say give it away because it's a ball now by Messi to Suarez takes it to the byline has he run out to play he has it'll be a goal kick but it was almost a second there and going back to Granada's attitude they're going to feel there's going to be no change to their game plan sit back look for something on the counter and as long as it's only one goal They'll feel they may have a chance of getting something from this game. Messi's pass just now to Suarez was excellent. Another tremendous assist. Really is the all-rounder, Leo Messi. Maybe not the greatest tackler. And uh, if you want to look at all-rounders, you could look at the man standing in the technical area there, Luis Enrique. Ian Botham of Barcelona. Over halfway through the first half, Barcelona dominated in terms of goals and play. Very little threat from Granada so far. Jordi Alba on the edge of his area to Macherano. Macherano alongside him, Gerard. Piquet will return the ball to the Argentinian. Just wondering if it was Maturano who was um, thinking of coming off. Hence the warming up of uh, Mateo. As the ball goes out for a throw in off Luis Suarez. It'll be a throw into the red and whites on this near touch line. As I was mentioning before, before we were so rudely interrupted by football. Um, yes, the Pozzo family run Granada alongside Udinese and what's what for but uh, rumoured to be falling into the hands of a group of Chinese investors I think at the moment the old Granada fans will be concentrating on is next season's schedule when once again they'll be entertaining the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid, Peña Randa unable to keep the ball on the field on the far side so it'll be a Barcelona throw in Very little of the Venezuelan young wonder kids so far. It's Granada in possession now on the far side. The ball played into the box straight to PK. El Arabi puts him under pressure. The ball, though, played away and comes off. Lopez for a throw into FCB halfway inside their own half. Very hot Andalusian afternoon. Also slightly concerned as well about the length of the grass. Many a club feel that the longer the grass, the better for them. in possession now with Danny Alves Alves can't quite get there and the ball with Rochina Rochina on the left hand side Peñaranda on the right Peñaranda was the target man there Jordi Alba gets the ball away though for Neymar oh and Neymar brought down that would be yellow card I would have thought let's have another look but uh, certainly looked like one of those fouls that have high level of intention oh dear me and this time it's Lopez the man who may well be lucky to be on the pitch he could have got oh 
I, I, do you know what that sound means? It means, oh, that hurts. Because uh, basically, Lopez forgot all about the ball and put his studs into the ankle of Neymar. Neymar is up. I'm surprised Lopez has got a yellow card by now. Gerard Piquet on the ball alongside Imagino. Skets the only man to have been booked so far. Piquet on the ball. Out to the right hand side, Leo Messi. Messi inside to Danny Alves. Alves into the centre circle. Mancherano, Barcelona with one more game after this to end the season. Again against Andalusian opponents. A week tomorrow, it's the King's Cup. Another title for Barcelona, you would think. They go into that as favours, but Sevilla are quite the cup men themselves. Also in the Europa League final, once again, back to the action. Gerard Piquet on the halfway line. Half hour gone in Los Camenes. It's Granada nil, Barcelona one. Mancherano on the ball. Forward to Messi. Messi brings in Piquet. Barca maintaining possession. In the midfield area, Mancherano. Messi. Jordi Alba's made a good run. He pumps it into the box, headed away by Babine. Barca win the ball back just outside the area, but the pass goes astray. And now Granada in possession. Moving forward, that will go out for a throw in in favour of FCB. So Barcelona moving forward now with Busquets. Gerard Piquet. Barca in possession. Midfield Piquet slowing things down a little bit now. Rakitic back to Mancherano. Neymar. Neymar rides the challenge. Looks for the ball inside to Messi. Messi in the esta. Now Gerard Piquet on the ball. Finds Busquets. Everybody inside the Granada half, as they have been for most of the game so far. Piquet out to Rakitic. Danny Alves on the near touchline. Gets the return ball back from Suarez. Lovely ball by Alves to Rakitic, who is offside. So it'll be a free kick to the Red and Whites. They've given their fans very little to smile about so far. Very little threat or even intention of threat. So it'll be a free kick in favour of Granada. Be taken by Andres Fernandez. Ball goes out of Barcelona player. There will be a throw in on this near touchline to be taken by former Barca B boy Lomban. 33 minutes gone. Granada have it by the corner flag, dispossessed, and Barca able to bring the ball away. They in turn return it to the red and white shirts and it comes off. Luis Suarez for a throw in to the Andalusians. Lombam will take. Machine up. Under pressure. Looks for a handball from Danny Alves. Not forthcoming and Barca triangle their way out of trouble. Long ball forward, shouldn't be a problem for Babin. He hoofs it into the Barcelona half. Well brought down by Busquets. Busquets challenged by Ducouré. Goes down, free kick in favour of FCB. Rochina was uh, quite motivated talking about this game before the kickoff, even given his uh, Barcelona past. Free kick taken, Macherano to Neymar. 
back to the halfway line. Busquets. Now PK combining with Leo Messi. Barcelona switch to the left hand side. Neymar combining with Jordi Alba. Iniesta now moving it down to the near touchline. Gerard Piquet. Lovely lifted ball. Alves inside the penalty area. Being pushed out of it. Still gets the ball off to Leo Messi. Messi switches it into the middle, but overhits it. Granada will look to counter. It's a solid run by Peña Randa. He's on his own, though, and eventually didn't get enough assistance. Robbed of the ball, now Barca bringing it forward. Neymar picks it up into the last 10. Neymar, Suarez making the run, he's offside, so Barcelona will move the ball horizontally to Dani Alves. Now Suarez looks for Rakitic. Plenty of options in the box if Rakitic can get the ball in, can't do so. It's played away by a defender straight to Dani Alves. Alves is ball runs through to Andres Fernandez. So far, happy days for the Barcelona fans. They, right now, would retain the league championship title. Long ball by Fernandez, headed away once more by PK. Picked up by Granado in midfield. And eventually overrun, and Testegen has the ball. Testegen pausing for a moment. Jordi Alba is down on the ground. Lopez may well be the culprit again. And this time I think Lopez was going for the ball. There was contact. Jordi Alba still jogging along. Should be okay. Iniesta, long ball, looking for Suarez. Oh, he keeps it in, it's in the net! What a ridiculous ball! What a ridiculous goal! Suarez chasing what looked like a lost ball, plays it into the area, and you'll never believe who put it in the back of the net. Danny Alves was there. And that means it's Barcelona. 2 0 up in Granada. Well, I really want to see this one again. Long ball through. That was the other way around. I'm sorry, it's Danny Alves, of course, who did the crossing. And Suarez with goal 39 of the season. Luis Suarez has scored both goals. And really, that was a goal from nowhere. That ball was going out for a goal kick. And although Suarez put it in the net, he was quick to praise Danny Alves for a remarkable run. As the ball goes into the other area, and the first dangerous ball, and it's clear for a corner by Danny Alves. PK couldn't get there, Alves could. Otherwise, El Arabi hovering behind the Brazilian fullback, the man of the moment. So it'll be a first corner of the game in favour of Granada. Spun in, and of course, Pique is there once again to clear it. Headed away again, this time by Busquets, and now Barcelona will look to break. Neymar already inside the Granada half, has Lopez in front of him. 
advancing on the penalty area. Still Neymar, Neymar! Shot is wide of Andres Fernandez's goal, but that is how you counter-attack, defending a corner, and then the attack. As going back to that goal, it happened so quickly. Macharano with the long ball forward, looked to be going out for a goal kick. Danny Alves had other ideas, and the perfect cross in for Luis Suarez to head past Andres Fernandez. Scoreline then Granada nil, Barcelona two. As Danny Alves wins it back for FCB, Busquets will play it inside to Maturano. Maturano will find Jordi Alba. Neymar just on the halfway line. Barcelona just taking a little pause. That doesn't mean you won't get another moment like we just had. They were moving the ball around in midfield. Suddenly Maturano fired that ball for Alves to chase. Messi now. Finds Luis Suarez. He loses the ball, but it's recovered quickly. Jordi Alba to Maturano, back to the left wing. And now Barcelona in possession on the centre spot. Busquets to Piquet. Piquet back inside to Busquets. Maturano plays the ball forward to Leo Messi. Messi will return the ball. Messi to Iniesta. Messi once more. And Busquets finds Gerard Piquet. Back inside to Busquets to Maturano. Gerard Piquet, Barcelona. Two goals to the good. We'll be happy enough to move the ball around. So we get the half-time whistle from Hernandez, Hernandez. It's Barcelona in possession now with Iniesta playing it out to Neymar. Neymar beaten to the ball, but it's Barcelona's ball once more. PK switching it to the left-hand side with Jordi Alba's made the run. It's headed out. It'll be a corner. Corner to FCB. Some of the Barcelona fans already beginning the celebrations. Corner on the left-hand side. It'll be Rakitic. Very early on in the game, there's a corner from Rakitic, headed on by Maturano. Maturano making his way to the same position. Just short of the near post. This time it's a deeper ball, much deeper ball, but it's headed away. And now a long ball forward that is safely played back to Ter Stegen. And a good step over there by Suarez for Barcelona. Attacking down the left-hand side, Lopez will get there just ahead of Rakitic though. And it'll be a throw in for Granada, level 42 on the clock. I'm saying Barcelona will be looking forward to the half time whistle. I imagine some of the Granada players will as well. They've huffed and puffed, but barely looked like. Blowing the house down. Ronaldo, by the way, has got a second goal for Real Madrid. They're winning 2 0. But that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because the Barcelona victory will give them another league title. Long ball forward down the right hand side. Dani Alves just about keeps it in, loses out under the challenge of Rochina. And eventually the ball goes out for a throw to Granada. Lomban blasted it against Danny Elvis. So it'll be a throw in just in line with the edge of the Granada penalty area.
Bernardo looking to bring it up to the halfway line, do so, give it away, but it'll be a free kick for the challenge of Peñaranda. Just short of the halfway line. Lomban inside to Costa, who switches it to Lopez. His control lets him down, recovers well. Costa, Lomban. Bernardo maintaining the ball. Possibly the longest amount of time in the game, and that's not lasted as Manturana wins it back for FCB. Messi looks to put the killer pass through, doesn't quite work out. 45 minutes are up, we're into the minute. Added on to the first half. Messi loses out midfield to Kure. Has it for Granada. And Granada, very horizontal here. Eventually play a long ball down the right-hand side. Rochina looks for Peñaranda. They're looking for a handball. Play continues. FCB bring the ball away. Just gets to Messi in the centre circle. Robbed of the ball by Ducure. One of the more active and are the midfielders. Inside him, Swachina. As the half time whistle goes, Mini added on is up, and Granada showing very little signs of a comeback here. We have a half time scoreline in Los Camenes of Granada nil, Barcelona 2. We shall see you in the second half. That's all for now, folks. Welcome back to the second half in Los Camines. We're looking forward to seeing if Barcelona can seal the league title 2-0 so far. Two goals by, of course, Luis Suarez. As Barcelona very much in the driving seat. Not really too concerned about what's happening in Riazor. Where Real Madrid are leading 2-0. Goals by Cristiano Ronaldo. But Barcelona very much in the driving seat, as I said, and it's Granada about to kick off. Let's go through the lineups. No changes for Granada. Andres in goal. Andres Fernandez, that is. A back four of Lomban, Babin, Ricardo Costa and Miguel Lopez. Ahead of them, Ducure, Ruben Perez, Rochina, Peña Randa, El Arabi and Fran Rico for Barcelona. Well, it's the standard lineup. Ter Stegen is the goalkeeper. The usual back four of Danny Alves, Jordi Alba, Macherano and Gerard Piquet in midfield, Andres Iniesta, Busquets and Rakitic and up front of course it's Messi, Suarez and Neymar. Barcelona then in possession playing from right to left, Granada attacking the goal to her right, very little attacking from them in the first half as Neymar's inside the penalty area, the shot though comes off Costa and it will be safely deflected into the hands of Andres Fernandez. It will be the Granada keeper with the long ball forward. Most of those balls being met by either Gerard Piquet or Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen on this occasion gets the ball out to Maturano. Maturano now to Piquet. Whistles for the Spanish internationals. He plays the ball inside to Busquets. Busquets to Piquet. Piquet now inside the Granada half. Busquets finds Andres Iniesta. Busquets once more. Back to Piquet. The triangle complete. Gerard Piquet unchallenged. Plays it down the wing, the ball returned to Gerard Piquet. Piquet to Busquets. Back to Macherano. Now in the Esther. Down to Gerard Piquet once more, hence the whistles. It's 
23 goals now for Barcelona in five games. Zero conceded. All of this coming on the back of that defeat at home to Valencia. A game in which, of course, they did, to many observers, play rather well. But that was a third defeat in a row after losing to Atletico Madrid in the Champions and Real Sociedad in the league. Since then, though, as I said, 23 goals for none against Barcelona in possession in midfield with Rakitic, the ball going back to Busquets. Inside the centre circle is Iniesta, Iniesta finds Piquet. It's Barcelona's switch play to the left-hand side, Jordi Alba. Alba plays it into the box. It's cut back and it's a red and white shirt on the end of it. Now the ball goes out. Near a white booted Luis Enrique looking rather elegant as usual. It'll be a throw in to be taken by Miguel Lopez. Advance further upfield. Maturano putting the ball out this time. Granada being forced back with the ball. Back with Andres Fernandez. And a dreadful ball, a few whistles first. Whistles of the game for possibly their best player on the field so far. Barcelona take the throw. Ball in their possession. Out of those 23 goals, 12 of them from the boots of Luis Suarez. Quite remarkable, but when you start talking about records, this Barcelona has broken so many over recent years, you just run out of time. Now, Barcelona moving down the right hand side, the ball cut out by Lomban, pumped forward now, straight to the feet of Gerard Piquet. So, Barcelona once more have it. Neymar. Back inside to Andres Iniesta. Switches it to Gerard Piquet. The 1 2 with Rakitic. Rakitic on the ball now. The creation breaks forward, plays it to the edge of the area. Suarez looking for the return ball, and it's out for a corner. Some very good 1 2 in there from Rakitic. We see the swivel by Andres Iniesta just moments ago. So it'll be a corner for FCB. Taken and the ball with Messi. Now play back into the midfield area. Andres Iniesta plays it back in. And now Rakitic has it inside the penalty area, drills it in, the ball cleared by Babin. We a throw in in favour of Barcelona. Ball now. Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba in the shade on the near touchline. Plays inside. Lovely turn once again by Andres Iniesta. Draw some size of approval as Barcelona now attacking the ball into the box. And Suarez almost on the end of it. Just kept in on this near touchline. And it'll be a Granada ball. Lopez swings it 
up towards El Arabi. He's unable to control it. The ball goes out for a throw in in favour of FCB. Lovely turn there by Andres Iniesta. Sparsa moved the ball around in midfield with Busquets. Good switch of play to Rakitic. Rakitic will find uh, Dani Alves. Ball down the middle looking for Neymar. Just cut out by Costa. Costa slips as he makes the clearing ball, so he'll go straight back to Barcelona. Busquets on the ball, finds Gerard Piquet. Macherano. Attempts Jordi Alba. Alba will return the ball back to Neymar. Neymar to Iniesta. Inside to Busquets. Messi just outside the D, riding the challenges, eventually brought down. It'll be a free kick. Maybe a first yellow of the game for a red and white shirt. Indeed it is. Ducouré joins Busquets in the referee's book of naughty boys. A little niggling challenge there from the Frenchman. And it'll be a free kick. Maybe just a tad too far. For a direct attempt on goal. Neymar and Messi over the ball, of course. It'll be Messi who strikes and not a bad effort at all. And Andres Fernandez. Had to spring across and punch it away. Lomban will clear the ball for, further forward. Cut out by Danny Alves. Rakitic now on the ball. To the edge of the area. Granada able to clear. Lomban. To Ruben Perez. He switches it forward. Peñaranda to El Arabi. Continues his run. Peñaranda though. Basically falling over in the penalty area. There was no contact. As we look again at the free kick, remarkable effort from Leo Messi. Parried away well by Andres Fernandez. Sparsa put under a little bit of pressure now. PK. Benchy giving the ball away. It's Granada have it just outside the area. The ball played into the box. And Maturana with the clearing head up. And now, free kick for the challenge on Neymar. Neymar just pushed over. It's been a fair old battle between him and Miguel Lopez. It's Jordi Alba takes the free kick, gives it to Gerard Piquet. Piquet on the ball. Forward now to Neymar. Neymar under pressure. Wins the throw in on the near side. Just where Luis Enrique is. It's Barcelona have the ball on the far side now. It's Leo Messi. Messi. No real pressure, gets the ball out. It's picked off by Ricardo Costa, who's now under pressure. Dani Alves unable to win the ball. Granada have it, but still 
just on the edge of their penalty area. Now Lopez flicks the ball inside. El Rabi combining with Ducure. Good football here from Granada. Chance for Rochino. He's inside. Testigan with a fine save. The first of the afternoon from the German keeper. Eventually, it all ends up in a free kick in favour of Barcelona for the challenge by El Arabi. It's a real opportunity. It was actually Fran Rico with the shot. And Ter Stegen with the save. Ball with Gerard Piquet. Side now to Busquets. Barcelona have possession on the far touchline. Suarez combining with Dani Alves. Suarez now inside to Messi. Messi touches it to Iniesta. Iniesta finds Neymar just outside the D. Looking for the one two with Suarez. Suarez overhits him, but this time Jordi Alba unable to drag the ball back in. And it'll be a goal kick to Stegen then. And now the goal kick by Fernandez met inside by Busquets. As Barcelona play the ball forward. They've lost it midfield. Granada just showing slightly more signs of life. In the second half. As they look to take the free kick quickly, they do so, and it was not the best of ideas. El Arabi offside. Now Barcelona quickly countering the ball played into the box. Neymar, oh, it's just tipped away by Andres Fernandez. 15 minutes into the second half and that was the closest we've come to a goal in the opening 15 minutes. As now the ball played forward again. Rakitic looking to take his man on, gets around him, looking to cut it back. But there's a fine challenge by Costa and now Granada have the ball with Ruben Perez withstanding the challenge to Cure. Now Granada breaking down the left hand side. As I said, Granada certainly livelier in this second half. Inside the box, PK goes down, breaks for Ducure. He's looking to line up the shot. Instead, plays it in. Busquets with the clearing ball, but Long range effort takes, well, I thought it took a deflection there, but it will go out for a goal kick. It's an excellent effort from Neymar, just tipped away by Andres Fernandez. Barcelona once again attack down the left hand side. Neymar looking to feed Suarez comes off for a throw in. Taken by Jordi Alba. Neymar under pressure backs off. Looks to trick his. Oh dear me. And there was a little bit of a head forward from Ruben Perez there. It was a silly gesture. And I think he's fortunate that Neymar didn't go down. It was one of those head-to-head -head moments. Neymar trying to flick it through Ruben Perez's legs. He didn't take kindly to that. But really unnecessary to lean forward. I'm happy to say Neymar didn't take, make too much of it.
but it was enough for the referee to give a yellow card. Ruben Perichon and Ducure, the two battling midfielders of Granada, booked. Really was an exaggerated head forward from the Granada midfielder. Real Madrid currently two goals to the good in Ria Thor, but rather irrelevant given that Barcelona are two goals up and top of the table on the last day of the season in the moment when it means most. Andres Iniesta now driving forward for Barcelona. Got support from Leo Messi. Messi looks for the run from Dani Alves. It's a wonderful run. Ball into the hands of Andres Fernandez. But really, the pass from Leo Messi was quite remarkable. Out of the corner of his eye, spotting the run from Dani Alves, who's had uh, quite an exceptional game, more in the attacking aspect rather than defending because they simply haven't had a lot to do Barca given the ball it's Messi on the ball halfway inside the Granada half steps past one looks for the one two the ball through the middle Zemos blocked and he was offside offside flag going up against the Brazilian Granada in possession with Peñaranda inside to Perez Perez switching the ball to Rochina. El Arabi waiting in the middle. He has to get around Danny Alves first, though. Back inside to Perez, who looks for the ball to go towards Ducure, but Tess Degen was there to intercept. Barcelona. Regaining possession of this, the ball, possession of this game, I was about to say. There'll be a free kick for the challenge by Franrico and then Drez in the Estep, and a yellow card for Franrico. All of the midfielders booked now for Granada. It was a uh, senseless challenge, I have to say. Macy just kicking out at Andres in the Esta. Wasn't too happy. So free kick that will be taken by Busquets. Minutes away from the league title. Twenty-five to be precise. As Granada have the ball inside the Barcelona area, it's enough to get them a corner. Well, you have to think about it. A goal would put them back into this game somehow. And the corner is on the right hand side. Into the sixth, the header is over the crossbar. And it'll be a goal kick to be taken by Tess Stegen as we get a glimpse of the travelling Barca fans. Tess Stegen, just the one save from the young German keeper so far. As Barca have possession with Gerard Piquet. Leo Messi just on the halfway line inside to Andres Iniesta. Jordi Alba in space on the near touchline. It's a ball to Neymar though. Neymar, Messi. Messi just strokes it over the back. Picked up by Suarez. Suarez back to Leo Messi. He's inside the penalty area and looks for Jordi Alba. The ball just cut out though. Jordi Alba had sneaked into space on the near touchline. Granada have the ball once more. Ruben Perez in possession for the red and whites. To 
Kruday. Now the ball lost and goes out for a throw in in favour of FCB. Lopez runs in down the right hand side. He'll get another corner, as I said, halfway through the second half now. And Granada, without threatening Test Egan, other than the one shot from Fran Rico, certainly enjoying themselves a little bit more. Corner, Fran Rico swings it over, falls untidily on the edge of the six, and it's headed away from goal, but for a goal kick. Goal kick taken, play to PK, PK to Danny Alves. Alves plays it off for a throw in favor of the Red and Blues. Barcelona moving down the middle, give the ball away. Ducouré will play it forward. Ducouré, he did play it forward, but straight to Busquets. Up to the halfway line now. One for Neymar to chase. Neymar, he's inside the penalty area. There's a foot in, though, and it'll be a corner in favour of FCB. Ball clipped away by Lopez. Imagine Luis Enrique will feel substitutions will be the order of the day. Neymar back to Andres in the step. Who finds Macherano. Barcelona move the ball around in midfield. Danny Alves, Machelano. Now the ball back to goalkeeper Ter Stegen. Suarez then about to become the first top scorer for Barcelona since the days of Samuel Eto. As Barca move the ball around in midfield. Once more, free kick denied. And now Neymar picks it up. Suarez losing out. Perez moves the ball in midfield. Ball goes out for a goal kick in favour of FCB. Barcelona then stumbling, appearing to stumble a few weeks ago, but recovering fully. And nobody could deny them. If they win the league title, Macherano is down. He's off the field, though, so Barcelona will play on with 10. Just overstretched there, the Argentinian. Well, Mateo was warming up in the first half, and Macherano was complaining of some muscular pain, and I think it's the same area. And they won't want to take a chance. Summer action for the Argentinian as well. There's 
Granada have the ball in the middle now. Played forward to El Arabi, He's inside the area, can't control the ball. And now something's happened off the ball. Suarez has gone down. And Cuenca is being surrounded by the Barcelona players indeed. Even Andres Fernandez has come up to defend him. And uh, Dani Alves and Ducure can involve Rakitic, the peacemaker now. Well, it was off the ball. And it'll be interesting to see how much of it the match officials saw. Well, Barcelona played on, but were immediately running over to have words with Fran Rico. Um, more than anyone else, Quinka. And I have to be honest, I'm not sure exactly what happened there. It's off the ball. Smarnif is down. Maturano is down as well. And Maturano, I just can't see him coming back onto the field of play. Well, who are the yellow cards going to go to? There's plenty of players to choose from. And uh, Andres Fernandez has been booked. It's a fairly standard decision there if the goalkeeper's come all that way out. And now Suarez bursts into the area. Oh, and he's going to get the yellow card, I think. He lost the ball and lashed out. That cost up. Perif was the man who made the contact with Suarez. I'm not sure why they were so furious with Cuenca and Rico. Mateo's come on then for Maturano. Maturano being looked up. As Barcelona have the ball with Andres Iniesta. He combines with Neymar. 15 minutes to go till Barcelona retain the league title. And it's Gerard Piquet playing forward into centre circle. Messi to Piquet, Piquet to Testegan. Testegan on the ball. Not to have it, but El Rabi is offside again. A little bit too slow to return. Ball now down this left hand side. Lopez gets there ahead of Neymar, but the ball recovered by Jordi Alba. Unfairly so, says Fernandez Fernandez. And it will be a free kick in favour of Granada. Maturano hobbling off. So, free kick on the near side to be taken. Bunny. Franrico into the area, headed away by Rakitic. The red and whites have it again. Play towards the edge of the area. PK gets there. There's a free kick in favour of Barcelona. PK has gone down, and there's a yellow card for Costa. Costa has gone up, arm out. There's contact with the chin of PK. PK going down, free kick and yellow card. Five now for Granada against the one of Barcelona. Busquets, the player book for FCB. Barral about to come on for Granada, replacing El Arabi. 
Well, Rabi has been the main goal getter for the Andalusians. Perel hasn't figured as much as he would like to have. As Barcelona have the ball, it'll be a free kick to be taken by Busquets. He leaves it for Piquet. Arda Turan about to come on for the Red and Blues of Barcelona. As Granada move the ball around in midfield with Ruben Perez. Long ball down the right hand side. That's been overhit though. Or has it? Danny Alves taking no chance. Jordi Alba rather taking no chances. It'll be a corner for Granada. Enrico will take, plays it short. Ducure looking to play it in. The ball comes off. Enrico gets there. Ducure. Ducure under pressure. Suarez winning the ball back. Now it's played out for a throw in in favour of the Red and Blues. Piquet still holding his face there. Arda Turan will be coming on for Barcelona. And Rakitic, obviously. And Arda Turan then will come on for around about 11 minutes plus injury time. And not too far away from another league title for Barcelona. Long ball down the right hand side. Granada looking to get a goal, looking to get something out of this game. They'll get a corner on the far side. Danny Alves felt he was backed into by Peñaranda. Now another ball into the box and headed away by Busquets. And there's a long range effort into a line of Barcelona players and then hook back over for a goal kick. Well, the substitution from the home team as Doria comes on. In midfield. Granada still hoping to get a goal. A goal might just bring them into the game. But as I said, just the one shot so far. And we're into the last ten. And now Neymar and Peñaranda exchanging words. Barcelona on the back foot on the edge of the area, able to clear the ball though. Granada though pushing, probing down the right hand side. Peñaranda under pressure, gets the ball off, supported by Lopez. Perez to Doria. Now they lose the ball. Danny Alves on the far side. Plays the ball in. Looking for Neymar. Neymar's header is a tame one in the end. And now Ducuré 
on the ball for Granada. It's a long ball towards the edge of the Barcelona penalty area. Just repelled by Piquet. Piquet now will play it out to Danny Elvis. in possession now in midfield with Leo Messi playing it to Neymar. Neymar's offside as Suarez received the applause for Suarez as he missed but it would have counted anyway. The flag had gone up. There's Neymar just shown to be a fraction offside there. So as we look at the league table Barcelona on 91 points, a point ahead of Real Madrid on 90. And with a goal difference, listen to that, of 82 goals in favour. Quite remarkable, just whatever way you look at Barcelona, when you're looking at the numbers, the numbers just sound unbelievable. Back to the action, Babin has it now for Granada, inside to Perez. Rico now playing it back to Doria. Doria down the left hand side. That's Granada unable to keep the ball in, and he'll go out for a throw in halfway inside the Barcelona half to be taken by the Red and Blues, who are about to win the league title again. And of course, with a chance a week tomorrow of making it a double as they take on Sevilla in the Vicente Calderon. Barcelona lose out, but regain the ball on the far side. Suarez bursting through, and Barbie with a little foot in. Prodded it back. Andres Fernandez took a chance picking that one up. I thought it might have been a back pass and free kick. As Barral goes down, and pretty much a scene of celebration on the Barca bench. Certainly, the players sit behind the technical staff. PK on the ball. Finds Jordi Alba inside to Iniesta. Iniesta. As the ball down the middle, Neymar, 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 there's no flag, Suarez! Suarez gets a hat-trick, Barcelona get a third, and Barcelona pick up the league title. We're into the last five minutes, and as Granada maybe had a little bit of possession in the second half. Luis Suarez strikes again, and we were talking about numbers. Well, how does the number 40 grab you 40 goals in the league this season for Suarez and as I said whatever way you look at the numbers they begin to sound rather ridiculous Suarez then with 40 goals not only the Pichichi not only the Pichichi of Spain the top scorer in the country but will be the top scorer in Europe and will get the Golden Boot Award as well So Suarez celebrates, Barcelona begin to celebrate. And there's complaints to the referee in the middle of the field, but I think the referee's not really had anything to do in the game. Bartomeu 
alongside a very pensative Granada president as as another substitution Busquets has left the field to play just looking to see who's made the substitution who's come on for him as Neymar has it plays it in and almost another goal they've still got it Barcelona now is Suarez Suarez to the edge of the area as Lopez this time clears the danger and it'll be a throw in for Barcelona on the halfway line I'm not sure how much Macharan will be joining the celebrations after going off with a muscular injury and there's Iniesta back to PK two minutes away from the final whistle no celebration of course this evening there were plans to do the bus route on Barcelona's arrival but various circumstances have eliminated that idea one of which being of course Bruce Springsteen playing in the camp now this afternoon or this evening rather Granada then with the ball I'm not sure whether there'll be much sense to and in time on to the 45 Granada moving the ball down the left hand side and Andith and Andith might just decide that 45 minutes will be enough Granada then in possession looking for the so-called consolation goal there's a free kick is awarded to the red and white just outside the Barcelona and a chance to play the ball into the danger zone Plenty of smiles behind Luis Enrique. Of course, he's holding it all in for now. Franrico with the free kick into the last minute. Played towards the six and a rather tame effort in the end is collected by Ter Stegen. And Barcelona looking to break. A long ball forward. Messi unable to get there. It's a hot afternoon in Granada. And now Andres Fernandez plays the ball out. Granada in possession. There is the 45 minutes up on the clock. And Fernandez Fernandez is going to add some time on. As Granada have the ball in midfield. Peñaranda back inside to Ruben Perez. And... Granada just on the edge of the Barcelona area. And the Barca fans singing the champion song because they are indeed once again champions of the Spanish League. Granada just playing down the clock now. Doria to Ruben Perez. Down to this near touchline, Lopez. Ducure to Lopez. One hundred and twelve goals scored by Barcelona. One hundred and ten by Real Madrid. Not a bad effort from the men in white either, but Barcelona. Deserve it, champions. Just 29 goals conceded as well. And there's a free kick. Well, some of the players, Barcelona players, already squirting water. <laughs> the, the team delicate. It was just like a scene from a, a school. Hold on a minute, and there's almost a consolation goal. The ball coming out. From the inside of the post, Barral almost getting the goal of honour. And Barcelona surely are going to end this game with a 3-0 result. Real Madrid have won 2-0, but 
That will be a bittersweet victory, as they say, as the Barcelona players are dancing on the bench. Luis Enrique just waiting for the final whistle. And a long ball forward by Granada comes to nothing. And the boss have fans, a lot of them shirtless now. As Luis Enrique waits to celebrate. Long ball forward towards Neymar. Collected by Andres Fernandez. Iniesta picks up in midfield. Finds Jordi Alba. And there is the final whistle. Barcelona 2015-16 champions.